Kansas that were very pleasant today. However, we are looking for a new front to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over at, by the good folks of Guam. Hello everybody, so today I have this puzzle to show off. This is a Penrose skew. So it is basically if I took one of these, you know, a very simple skew, and I shaved off three of the edges. This edge, this edge, and then this edge. And that is all in a clockwise uh, manner, or whatever I want to say. So then we end up with these uh, two faces that are joined by one smooth rounded edge and you stick them all as one color and it ends up looking really really cool uh, as you can see uh, and doing this on a skew is actually kind of interesting because it turns by the corners uh, in between like at the depth in between the corners you can actually get this cut right here which does no shape shifting even though it is a shape mod so I 3D printed this puzzle, uh, and I did it out of PLA, and just as an experiment I decided I wanted to try spray painting again, because I've gotten a lot better at spray painting than I did, well, than I've been since uh, when I started making puzzles. And I feel that the spray paint job turned out really, really well, except for in one spot, and it's on, I think, I find it. It's underneath the sticker. Two hours later. All right, it's underneath this sticker. So as you can kind of see, if we put it in the light in just the right way, there, you can see a little bump right there. And that's because I put the paint on a little bit too thick and it started to run and create bubbles. And it just, it doesn't look the best. However, with the sticker on it, it hides that crime pretty well. Another interesting, thing about this puzzle is uh, these uh, center square bits have an orientation. So if we uh, take one of these centers out on the skew, 2,000 years later. Alright, so like I said, if we take one of these centers out on the skew and we wipe the lube off of our hands, as you can see, the, um, this piece is congruent to itself in two orientations. So we see that this piece uh, is going horizontal, and if we rotate it 180 degrees, it is also going horizontal and looks identical to how it did in this position. So that means that when um, we are solving this, this piece can actually be flipped around like that, uh, similar to the edges on a pyraminx when you can have two edges flipped, it's just like that. And when you have the two edges flipped on this, it's actually the center bits, and those will be uh, turned around and they actually have an orientation, unlike on a regular skew where it makes no difference. And uh, because of how this piece shape also is, that means that these two squares can actually never replace each other. So this one will always be in this spot, and this one will be always in this spot when solved. Uh, they can be switched uh, mid-solve, but they won't be in the correct spot. So like, um, you know, this one will be rotated by 90 degrees if it's put in here. So that's about it for this puzzle. I hope you enjoyed looking at this very simple little cute puzzle. Um, if you'd like one, let me know. I'll sell a few of them if you just message me on Instagram or email me. So, uh, yeah, I, I will see you later. About a half inch behind, correction, a half inch ahead for the year, and one and fifty three hundredths behind for the, for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility.